and I want to also jump back into the whole suicide aspect. As I mentioned in the prior segment uh, about suicides, it's being, um, it's literally going to be pushed through all of our media. You're going to notice the idea of acceptance and that the policies that have have created. And you've got to ask yourself, why are they teaching acceptability of su- suicide? as a society norm. And do the policies and drivers in society create reasons to make suicide more common? Of course they do. When they're downsizing our houses, restricting our resources, uh, taking us off of rural farm lands that they consider sprawl and unsustainable, absolutely policies will be creating massive psychological displacement and people will be uh, considering suicide because they'll use frequencies as memes in your mind where you will believe that you want to commit suicide. You will believe those to be your own thoughts. And And I'm I'm going to jump in with this real quick here because you are so on the money. You know, my background is in the field of psychology and I've studied consciousness, I've studied the effects of electromagnetic waves on the brain and this research is not new it started with Jose Delgado back in the early 1960s and he ended up working for the CIA for about 50 years developing mind control technology so I wanted to throw that in because people are go oh there we go again mind control no such thing yes there is it's documented okay well the sad reality Dave is that uh, largely uh, most of the population is already controlled certainly by the poisons and toxins in the food, water, and air, and then by the frequencies. That's why so much of these diabolical plans are occurring without notice and without people um, uh, out there more than there are. And with that, I want to inject a couple of things. I I had a tremendous curiosity about the Rwanda genocide in uh, Central Africa in the mid-'90s. And I was looking at some... uh, uh, some, literally some discussions and some uh, jur- jurisdictional discussions that happened after that genocide. They had a tribunal, and they were talking about how the media was complicit and played into the genocide, actually sat back and didn't stop the genocide. But then I ran across something very uh, interesting. I ran across an operation called Operation Crimson Mist. Operation Crimson Mist. I'm going to explain to everybody what we did, what the CIA did uh, in Central Africa in the mid-90s. We had ground, uh, uh, literally um, economic hitman teams, CIA, in Central Africa. They were waging mind wars between the Hutu and the Tutsi tribes, uh, trying to uh, incite agitation, which they did. Uh, Then there was a meeting by the two tribes where they had each of their tribal presidents up uh, at a location. We dropped a bomb on that meeting. We decapitated the political head of Central Africa when we dropped that bomb. What then happened, Dave, is we had a Hercules uh, C-130 plane set up nearby with microwaves on board. We flew over the Hutu tribes and beamed them with frequencies that um, expanded uh, and created greater sense of rage. They actually turned into killing machines. They slaughtered over a million Tutsis and uh, anyone involved with the Tutsis, and they raped and slaughtered little girls. When you read the Rwanda genocide judicial hearings after the genocide, you realize what they did with mind control. They used those same frequencies in Operation Desert Storm on the Iraqis. Yeah, with the AWACS, we were told right. when we rolled in to sequester more resources that we would be met with hardened Iraqi fighters. And we were all surprised 
to see the Iraqis coming out of their trenches waving white flags. Why? We were using microwaves on them. It has been told that what occurred is the death of the microwaves on these uh, fighters, and we rolled over them with bulldozers and buried them up in their own trenches. We used the same thing when the uh, museum um, was uh, raided and pillaged there uh, in Iraq as well, and uh, we turned on those frequencies when we called for um, food distribution out on the steps of the museum. And uh, we created an out-of-control uh, population of hungry, starving Iraqis after we were raping and pillaging and plunder plundering them, and they robbed everything out of the museum. So what I, what I and others are most concerned about are the use of frequencies. We have an extremely important um, article, or I should say a document on StopTheCrime.net uh, it is called Aquarius Operations Briefing. Aquarius Operations Briefing. It is a document. Everything on StopTheCrime.net is a free download. Pass it out far and wide. We hold nothing uh, back. We want it all out. Download that. We received that from a whistleblower some years ago. Understand what is happening with frequencies and understand while you're, you're still able to think you must, because soon and very soon, our ability to think is going to be uh, more of a of a problem, <laughs> more of a an enormous problem. So let me tell you the backstory, Dave, of the YouTube we have up called "Cooking of Humanity." That was an interview that my husband and I flew up to Portland, Oregon, to interview Barry Trower, who is a noted. A microwave expert on microwave warfare. The purpose of our going up there was to discuss a document that our research team found on the whitehouse.gov website. It was a and is a 13-page document. It is about the it is from the President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology, July 20th of 2012. And what this uh, document included was a map of the United States. And around the coastal abutments of all the states, we're talking about all the states that abut the Pacific Ocean, the uh, Gulf Coast states, and the Atlantic Coast states, uh, we saw frequencies, massive frequencies. So uh, we sent this out to um, get this interpreted. And this is what came back, and this is the back story of the YouTube, uh, The Cooking of Humanity, because sadly, uh, we did not go into this t in the detail that I was hoping to during that interview with Barry Trower, so now you're going to hear it. Uh, what that 13-page uh, document was all about was targeting the United States by the military-industrial co complex with radar, It was, and it is a silent weapons system deployment back in 2013. It's psychotronic weapons for mass mind control. It's the use of quantum computers, which of course we know is mind theft, invasion of the human brain with AI, of course artificial intelligence, which AI is also part of the um, cyber cities they're setting up, but uh, I digress. Uh, it's also controlling specific thoughts, emotions, and directing physical actions into unsuspecting human beings, also our animals as well. Uh, the map will illustrate the end of free will as we've all known it. It's information from the White House website, and this is real. The image on the map is from the White House website, and the technologies and the methodologies are described in the NASA document, which we have on the future war circa uh, on, on StopTheCrime.net. I call it the NASA war document. Take a look at that. Uh, and the additional comments are contributed by several people that looked at this document back then when we sent it out. Now, the document on the WhiteHouse.gov website uh, has uh, listed the White House Spectrum Management Team as Google, Inc., Microsoft Corp., 
Stanford and Harvard Universities, Virginia Tech, UC Berkeley, the National Telecommunications Information Association, the FCC, the NSA, and many, many others. So let's talk about what that map illustrates, and this is absolutely diabolical, and everybody must understand what is happening with mind control and frequencies. And by the way, we're open for further interpretations of this map. While we've had a number of people interpret this, if any of you out there also have some interpretations, we would appreciate hearing from you. So here we go. Um, one of the uh, interpretations refers to their knowledge of the NASA war documents. Again, that's on StopTheCrime.net. Uh, for those of you that may not be familiar with the NASA war document, again, I would encourage you to take a look at it. It discusses uh, the reality and understanding of the use of low, frequency, uh, low frequencies uh, for um, debilitating seizures, for gross alteration in brain functions. This is on page 50, and it's called a Warfare Strategy Document, The Future is Now. It involves the U.S. Air Force, DARPA, CIA, FBI, Southern Command, Atlantic Command, Australian Department of Defense, and many other takedown organizations that are committing genocide on all of us in their deep, dark bowels of corruption and evil. Uh, but it also talks about lethality and their knowledge and awareness of the low frequencies of microwaves. It refers to the U.S. Army document out of Walter Reed. You can download that document from the source document page of StopTheCrime.net. This document also discusses micro dust weaponry systems being used. Uh, they talk about how this uh, micron-sized dust uh, would be distributed as an aerosol in our chemtrails, inhaled into the lungs. Mm -hmm. The dust me mechanically bores into our lung tissue and executes various pathological missions. They tout how it's a wholly and completely new class of weaponry which is legal. That's on page 43. They talk about on page 45 the use of beam weapons will become increasingly prevalent. I could go on and on, and, and quite frankly, we could do an entire show on this document. We've spent years uh, talking to military and other investigators about the document, but I just talked to you about how beam weaponry will become more prevalent. Let me just tell you what's now out in the news right now. Directed energy weapon market cap to grow exponentially. Wall Street is ecstatic. Um, it's important to know that this is a, a uh, Reuters article that was published July 11th of 2017. And they talk about the global uh, directed energy weapons market. It's expected to grow from $8.12 billion in 2016 to reach $41.97 billion by 2023. They go on to say that the rising demand for non-lethal deterrence and the growing demand for the use of naval weapons in naval forces across the world are some of the major factors favoring the market growth. On the other hand, huge development cost, strict energy, industry regulations, and lack of testing facilities are restricting market growth. That is not true. They're using these systems on us. This is what has been deployed and used on targeted individuals throughout the world. We have many discussions and have had many interviews with targeted individuals that have been gang stalked, harassed, and they've had uh, directed energy weapons used on them. I can tell you, Dave, that uh, in 2011, when we were protesting in front of Bohemian Grove here in Northern California, which, by the way, as we speak, is in session, right now Bohemian Grove is occurring here in Northern California. But why, while many of us were out in front of the Grove, uh, there were um, Grove police hiding behind trees. And we actually have that up on YouTube. I don't know what it's called. But uh, I was gesturing uh, and talking to somebody that was filming. And we saw these people stand up and come out from behind the trees. Many uh, consequences occurred. Uh, many people were feeling like they just wanted to go to sleep immediately. 
Uh, many people felt very disconnected, fuzzy in the head. Uh, many people had severe stomach aches and headaches, and we all left. We couldn't stay there. So uh, weapons systems, uh, directed energy weapons systems for mind control, for starting fires. This is a global assault on the human population, the human family. So let me go back into the rest of the story on the cooking of humanity. So I talked about uh, the NASA war documents. Uh, it, I have to discuss the Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars document. For those of you who have not downloaded and read that, you must. We are uh, in a silent weapons system of genocide and takedown. So this particular contributor uh, said that they were well aware of all aspects of the NASA document and of the silent weapons system, and that they said they knew what digital GWIN signals are, and they know without a doubt that specific harmonics are needed for mass mind control. And here's what these people, the contributors to that um, document that we found on that fateful day on the whitehouse.gov website. They said, do you know what the X factor to their pulsed ELF, that's extremely low frequency, mind control happens to be? It's something called negative oxygen ions. They tell us, let me try to sum it up in a sixth grade language. I'm quoting all of this. The oxygen we breathe is comprised and composed of two oxygen molecules that bond together. If the oxygen molecule is stripped of electrons, it becomes positively charged. Conversely, if there are extra electrons attached to the oxygen, it becomes negatively charged. Study after study after study on this, done largely by DARPA and the Stanford Research Institute, or SRI, and CIA mind control operatives during the 60s and 70s, 1960s and 1970s, showed that humans breathing negative oxygen ions have markedly better cognitive reasoning skills, are much less likely to be mind control on a massive scale, and more importantly, are much more physically healthy negatively charged oxygen ions are vitally important for healthy humans. Now he, they tell us we must understand that the primary source of negative oxygen ion generation is the seashore. The waves of the salty surf crashing on the coastline rocks and sand 24-7 generate massive negative ions of oxygen which in turn supplies the entire nation with what can best be described as good vibrations. Prevailing winds that circulate the negatively I uh, um, charged oxygen ions throughout the country, again, produce good vibrations. They go on to say uh, that the digital wave signals that are shown on this map are specifically and only heavily concentrated along America's coastlines and nowhere else. It appears that the powers that be are seeking to electromagnetically strip the ions, the electrons, from the air. They can see no other reason for this. The net result will be to simply uh, be able to use much more and to create much more chemically depressed national population and much more easily mind-controlled nation. And this contributor says, <clears throat> nefarious as hell. So I want everybody to go to Cooking of Humanity. Uh, in the show notes, you can download this document. I wish you would. Please help contribute to this. If any of you out there have any more input, we would appreciate that. But this is what's happening. We're being taken over by mind control frequency.